A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a young girl decided she would compete in the worldwide writing challenge of mythical proportions known to all and sundry as National Novel Writing Month. Now, because the goal of Nano is to write many words, many, 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 many words, the girl did pad her writing. She did fatten it. She did puff it up. She did use as many fine and perhaps not so fine words as she could possibly squeeze, cram, ram, and blunderingly bludgeon into her sentences so as to make them longer and longer still. Why use one adjective when two tiny ones could do the job? Why settle for two when three thriftless, threadbare words would suffice? Three? How about four fabulous, flirty, fractious descriptors, or five fulsome, fumbling, fantastical, frightful modifiers? Well, you get the picture. Or maybe you don't, but either way, I just added 26 words to my word count with this sentence alone. There were no lengths to which this girl would not go in her quest for rhymo sainthood. Then November 30th came, November 30th went, girl's shiny new nano winner icon looked fabulous on her blogger blog and her Facebook wall and her MySpace page. But her novel lay abandoned, buried deep within the folder tree of her laptop. Her victory turned to shame in this terrible testament to frenzied fury of frivolous words. Where was her story? Where its heart, its passion and purpose? Lost, lost in the quagmire of word war slush. How would she ever dig it out? Repeat after me. Padding is evil. Padding is evil. Padding is evil. Padding is evil. Padding is evil.